To make a jellyfish, we need a bowl. Paint to paint the bowl if you want to color it. Some string and a paper clip or a button. Glue. Tissue paper in any color you'd like. Scissors and something to make a face. So you could have googly eyes, you could use crayons and markers, whatever you'd like. The first thing to do is take your bowl and paint or decorate the outside. You could paint it a color, you could use stickers, you could do any kind of design on it, however you'd like. It's your jellyfish, decorate it as you'd like. Now I painted my jellyfish, so while it's drying, I'm gonna get the next steps ready. The next thing to do is take our string and cut a piece, it's maybe 10 inches or so. Not too long, not too short. We're gonna hang our jellyfish with this. So we're gonna cut the string and then you're gonna tie a piece of it to the end of your paper clip. And if you used a button, just tie it to the button. This will make sure your string doesn't fall out of your jellyfish. So just tie a knot. Just like that. And you could use a big paper clip, a small paper clip, any kind of button. You could probably even cut a piece of a straw and put the string through the straw. Just something that you have so that it won't fall through a small hole. The next thing to do is to cut strips of tissue paper. Now I painted my jellyfish kind of a bluish color, but I want to give him yellow tentacles. You can match your tentacles to the color that you made your jellyfish. You could use different colors. You could have tentacles, eight different colors, whatever you'd like. But I find if you fold your tissue paper, I folded it in half and then in half again, and then I'm going to fold it in half this way. And then I'm just going to cut strips Whoops. and I'm going to use these as my tentacles. Now if you don't have tissue paper, you could use a plastic bag, you could use ribbon. You can even um, cut strips of construction paper and just kind of curl the edges a little bit. Be creative, use as many different things as you'd like. And then you're gonna separate your tentacles. Now I made enough for a couple of jellyfish here, the way I folded my paper. You need eight for each jellyfish, so make sure you have eight and put them aside. That's for our next step. Now before we start attaching the tentacles, we're gonna put the string to hang our jellyfish with. So you're gonna take something and poke a hole right in the center of your bowl. You could use a scissor, you could use a pencil, you could use a knitting needle, a dowel, whatever you need, something to just poke a small hole through the center. And then you're gonna take your paper clip that's attached to a string and you're gonna take the other end of the string and you're gonna feed it from underneath the bowl up through that hole. And you're gonna pull it up. And see, the paper clip will keep your string from falling out. Now if you want, you can put a piece of tape or glue your paper clip flat, but it will hold it even if you don't. The next thing we're gonna do is attach our tentacles. So you're gonna take your tissue paper, you're gonna take one piece, and you're gonna put some glue inside your bowl, as close to the center as you can get, and you're gonna glue your first tentacle down. And then you're gonna continue around until all of your tentacles are glued into your bowl. Once you have all eight of your tentacles glued or taped inside your jellyfish, you can turn them over. And see how his tentacles are gonna dangle from the bottom? And the next thing you're gonna do is carefully, so you don't bend all his tentacles, but you're gonna decorate his face. So draw eyes and a mouth or glue eyes on. Let's see what kind of decorations we can put on this jellyfish. And once his face is on, your jellyfish is finished. You can make a whole group of jellyfish 
in all different colors. You could decorate them any way you'd like. You can use all different colored tissue papers. Give them all different faces, all different expressions. Have fun with it. Make a bunch of jellyfish and send us photos.